I thought I'd share a bit of why I haven't been knife making lately. Uh, we're in the process of turning our backyard into an Audubon certified backyard habitat. We're going to be getting rid of uh, all of our grass here, except for a little stretch back there in the back. Uh, right there, where you can see this line, there's a bit of a dip. Uh, we're going to retain that upper level for the dogs to do their business in. Uh, over here we've been digging a trench. This will be part of our drainage. Uh, unfortunately, this is the low side of the yard, so this is kind of, uh, uh, it doubled as uh, both something attractive and functional, or it will. <laughs> uh, the yard slopes pretty heavily towards this area and here around our basement. And it pools right here around my rhododendron and tends to lead down. This is this is the shop. Here's the house over here. Uh, we get a big, big pool down here. And uh, so we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna do a uh, rain garden, which would be really nice. We're gonna disconnect uh, downspouts here, right here, and uh, a couple more around the house. And uh, out here in the middle, we have a big pool which will be sunk uh, sunk into the ground. It's going to be a lot of digging. I'm going to use, uh, probably going to rent a little excavator for that. And uh, it's going to be a natural draining and filtering system. Uh, lots of plants. Uh, everything's going to be native, mostly, to Portland. Um, and then uh, it's going to drain out towards the top portion of this trench that we're digging here. Unfortunately, the uh, the pitch that I need here to match that line and to drop at a rate of about one half to one inch uh, per foot is going to get me at about uh, 65 or so inches down there. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge getting that in. Uh, what we did here was we just ran the rototiller through it uh, about as far down as it would go and then dug that out, and then, yeah, we will be uh, renting an excavator for the for the remaining portion here. This yard is just full of rocks. We've got uh, uh, just a whole pile of them back here behind the wood pile. It's just, it's, it's incredibly rocky and rooty-like. Uh, really, really painful to do. But the, uh, the pool out here will be quite sizable, which would be really nice. I've also been doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we've got some unseasonably warm weather here in Portland. Here it is, it just turned uh, March, and uh, we're just, we're trying not to get too excited, but you know, we're prepping everything, and uh, I've got seedlings started. I've got to uh, put this, uh, this PVC pipe over here, and we can run some plastic over the top of it uh, when we're ready to drop some things in. I've also eliminated most of the vegetation off the top of this hill. This used to be juniper shrubs all the way to the top here. And I could barely walk in along here, in amongst, to get my uh, uh, my vent put in up there. I don't know if you can see the gable vent fan up there. Uh, but this was all juniper and ivy. Uh, put a little latch here in the gate, which is nice so we can get out here. But we're gonna turn this whole hillside into uh, some natural plants, uh, or native plants, rather than uh, there's some remaining ivy. But this whole hillside right here, the entire hillside looked like this, top to bottom. Just ivy and junipers. Uh, it extends all the way out to the corner of the street here, which is a pain. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. That's why I have not been doing very much knife making lately. Uh, this up here, I think we're going to turn into a nice little garden, uh, little seating area, uh, just a place to enjoy the evening, the evening sun. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. Hope you guys have been well. I've uh, been watching a lot of your videos, all you guys, all my subscribers. Uh, you guys uh, tend to put out a lot more content than I do. Uh, 
Got my robe tools out. Man, those things really saved the time. Uh, I had my Highlander out here a little while ago as well. Uh, but it's just, it's far too rocky. I know that thing can take it, but man, I hate abusing it. It's just a real pain. So yeah, that's what's up. Take care, guys.